Investigation centers around the weekend party that drew quite a crowd. As you saw there, people are urged to keep their distance amid the coronavirus pandemic. As you know, Action News reporter George Solis is live outside Philadelphia City Hall with that story. George. Good afternoon, Jeanette and Brian. City officials tell us they are looking at the validity of these videos that have been circulating online of this party. Now, those that live in the neighborhood say these videos don't tell the full story, saying an earlier celebration in the community did adhere to social distancing guidelines. This video of scores of people participating in a large gathering in Southwest Philadelphia Saturday is raising concerns that again, many aren't taking the pandemic seriously. This video obtained by Action News of the celebration at 55th and Belmar shows a crowd of mainly young people in close quarters during what's been described as a block party celebrating numerous occasions. Face covering seldom seen. And we're pr proud that we've done it, even during COVID-19 season. Darnell Jackson was one of those in attendance. He estimates thousands showed up, claiming the cooped up climate of these past months, giving people all the motivation needed to gather, even getting what looks like a Philadelphia police officer in on the party. They're not regretful at all. But the videos don't tell the full story, according to some longtime residents of the neighborhood. We had nothing to do with that. Nothing. Onikia Savage says the neighborhood's initial block party included spaced out tents, participants masked up, and a police presence to keep an eye on things. The reunion we had out here was beautiful. She says sunset began to draw the large crowds from outside neighborhoods that became the cause for concern. The same cops who were out here earlier were the same ones that came back. They said we would have never thought it would have been like this because it was so nice. Others in the neighborhood believe the large gathering in some sense was still safer than other settings. You go to the grocery store, you go to Rite Aid, people don't wear masks. Drea Mumford says people could have done better. If somebody's worried about the COVID, put a mask on. But she finds some solace the headline in her community isn't something worse. They're a large group of people and there was no drama and no issues. I'm here for that. I'm here for that, yeah. I mean, it's Philly at the end of the day. Now, a city spokesperson says no complaints were received via the city's 311 system. It's unclear if any complaints were received by Philadelphia police, but again, the city stressing they discourage these types of large gatherings. We are live.